everyone. In this video we will show you a complete example of how to add a new component to your system using the template that we already created before and to do this we have to go to the uh, reuse library and, the, and get the template from the uh, motor M motor category and you can find it here in the, uh, the template in the MB magnetic and we get the template and add it to the project as shown here the new added component is still unassigned so we have to uh, drag it into our uh, system which, which is a J, GL001 as shown here it took a new value or a new designation automatically but we also f uh, in the look in the we have to delete the channels from the location navigator because we don't need them in the location navigator aspect navigator we only need them in the function and product Here we assign the channels of this uh, or the inputs and outputs of this component to the uh, corresponding digital input or digital output module as shown. The next step now is to integrate the new added component into our uh, PLC code. Um, to do so we have to get to the automation navigator and here you can see the new added db of the new component and we have to uh, but it still is uh, assigned so we have to integrate it into our uh, program blocks and to do so we have to get uh, to uh, select the db itself and then click on bulk connection and uh, in the source part we already selected the db itself and for the target we have to uh, select the uh, PLC station and we have to select the source and target from the ports and then click on one on one to one connection and then click OK and here as you can see the uh, DB is integrated into our uh, PLC code or the TIA uh, portal project and the next step now would be um, to call the new DB into our OB so we have to open the OB1 and we have to create a new uh, call do right click and then insert call and click here and now we have to select the DB but we have to change the method selection to object selection and we have to select the new DB but still as you can see uh, the values of the parameters are empty which means the interface of the uh, function block will be empty as well there are no PLC tags are connected to the IOs of this block and to fix this problem as you can see here when we called it you can see now that there are no PLC tags connected so now to fix this uh, issue we have to um, call the ports manager for this block the do right click and then uh, select ports manager and as you can see here all the ports are still empty there are no connections are uh, created for the uh, PLC tags so we to uh, determine which uh, PLC tags we have to choose I, we can uh, 
uh, check another example older uh, DB as you can see here all the um, connected uh, ports uh, to the tags are shown here so we have to do the same for the new uh, DB but first we have to call the PLC tags of the new component into our PLC tag table so from the function aspect navigator we have to select all the um, PLC tags of this new component make sure that you don't forget anything and then we do a bulk connection and for the target we select the PLC station of our system and we do 1 to N connection and then here you can see all the new uh, PLC tags are added to the uh, PLC tag table so the next step now would be uh, to connect the PLC tags to the um, interfaces of the uh, function block and we to do so we have to get to the ports manager again and we can see that um, some ports are not connected like port 8, 9 and 10 so we have to connect them using the manual connection and here we have to select modus automa automatic and do the same for the others and now we are done so now we are we are able to call this db into our ob1 to do some correction here and now you can see that the all parameters has values which are created by the ports manager so now you can see that all the interfaces are connected to the uh, corresponding PLC tags afterwards we are uh, able to um, generate the PLC code the TIA portal project from collaboration and then send data from the source we have to select the, our system and select here new project and this is the name of the project and this is a target path we have to select the target path we will assume it like this and here are the settings or the options that you want to do with your uh, TIA portal project while it is being generated like for example uh, the, to compile the results in TIA portal or to open the TIA portal itself and also to send the software and the tags as well so you can check whatever you want and then we click on send to TIA portal we have to change the name and here we have the notification or the message that the uh, sending to TIA portal was successful if there is an issue it will be shown as well as uh, in the report in this information you can see uh, all the messages or every uh, the status of the um, creation of the TIA portal project and now we can check our code and our TIA portal project you can see here the program blocks everything here also the uh, hardware configuration you can see here and now we can check the OB1 and now we 
can check all the op1 and the cold function blocks and this is our new added component M mb004 and also it's connected to the uh, corresponding uh, plc tags and finally the last step now is to create the eplan project to do so we have to get back to the nx environment we have to check on all the uh, eplan macros of all the channels And as previously mentioned, um, all the values of the, um, for example, the uh, all the variables are take being taken automatically by the expressions. But uh, for the uh, page numbers, we have to change it um, on our own manually, like this. And now the last step is to generate the Eplan macro of the whole project in one step. And now you can see here number uh, 36, page number 36 is a new component and everything is drawn automatically. Thank you.